<gasps> oh my god. We're having a little bit of a problem. It's a little bit awkward. I don't want anyone to judge us. I don't know what's happened here. But this is not something that I made earlier. Good morning, good morning all, good morning. What a beautiful... Don't know what day it is. But I am ready, I am pumped to go and show you a day in the life of me. When I'm at home, this is the usual. So we're gonna start off with some nice breakfast. Actually, what I'm gonna show you today, realistically, is what I eat in a day. So come with me. Let's get the breakfast started. Excuse the hair, it's a mess. So, let's get this on. I'm going personal training. I like to have something like, I'm not a big breakfast person. And what I always tend to just go for, because it's just so easy, is boiled eggs. I like to put them with a bit of salt and a bit of spinach. Get them boiling. But for some reason, this keeps going off. So I'll start boiling them, and I'll peel them all, get them with some spinach and loads of salt. And I'll probably have three. And what I'm gonna do today as well, guys, what I'm gonna tell you is, like amongst all the busyness, what I eat in a day, and also like how I track my calories, I'm not too strict with it, but I'll try and always eat 1,600, which is a lot. Like compared to the days when I used to be younger and think it was so cool to eat under 1,000 a day. It's just not how it works. If you're watching this video and you do that to yourself, please stop it. You can eat as much as you want. It's all about just just track, just track what you're eating and be moving more, which I'll show you today. I do a lot of exercise. I've always got my Apple Watch on. That for me has been such a life changer. Getting an Apple Watch or a Fitbit, I like the Apple Watch because obviously I've got my iPhone and it just syncs everything up. This is my biggest motivator. This has changed my life. Since I got one of these, everyone around has got one. So I would say this is also a great technique to being more fit and healthy. Even though we're not talking about that, we're meant to just be talking about the eggs. But I've gone off on a tangent. So let's just make the eggs and go to the gym because I'm already late. Right, the eggs are done. I'm just gonna have to take, literally take two eggs with us, yeah? With a little bit of spinach and I'll have to, I'll have to like pull up outside the gym, yeah? And just eat them quick as, as I can. Um, salt, salt, and eat salt on. You almost shake the egg to see if it's hard boiled inside. Hard boiled. Right, got to go, got to go, got no time. Got to leave right now. Baby girl love my bop and unlike me too No roof on my top and my babe see through Hating on the pen don't stop, they ain't gon' feed you I been all on my grind so why I need you Baby girl love my bop and unlike me too No roof on my top and my babe see through Baby girl love my bop and unlike me too No roof on my top and my babe see through on the pen, don't stop, they ain't gon' feed you I've been all on my grind, so why I need you? I'm done. I cannot do another second. This has been the first session back after the tour. You can hear I still don't have a voice properly. I deserve a medal for this month. It's not even October anymore. I don't even know the date. I don't know the day. Let's go to work now. Go job with somebody next door, not a far walk. The boss has arrived! Everyone to their stations! Do we only have one member of staff? Two, two. Actually, we employ three, ma'am. And if. So, um, guys, I just have to pop in the office today. This is our office and warehouse. If you want to know a little look, you can. That's be my guest. <laughs> Second meal of the day at McDonald's. Now, I live off McDonald's at the minute because I'm so busy. Oh, just let me in, let me in. What's going So, what we have got from McDonald's is, shut up, Rhubarb! Now, 
This is my normal McDonald's order, second, second meal of the day. Now, I don't beat myself up about eating McDonald's. I probably have it four times a week. Veggie dippers, two sour cream dips. Can't live without them. I even lick it at the end. If they're missing off this, I'm gonna be furious. <gasps> Triple cheeseburger with only gherkins and cheese. Now, this is literally my order every single day. And do you wanna know why? Because there's no bun, no gluten. It doesn't bloat ya. The veggie dippers are made from corn flour. No, no, hold on. Rice flour. I think so. And I even have a little knife and fork so it feels like I'm at a restaurant. Lovely. So, this afternoon after this, oh, that's where I've got to go shopping. The fridges are bare. Right, bam, I've got to go now, yeah. Expenses because I don't have much time and the dogs are in the car and I don't like leaving them in there so this was really close but don't judge us guys because my favourite shop's Tesco so right okay then so for just a couple of days at home we'll just get all the Malva this is everything I eat in the day three bottles in just one day but I'm not actually going to I'm sick of alcohol it's very fatty meat chewing so you see Wherever I put it in the calorie counter and boosts the fat content up so high, is it worth it? I think the sausage is always worth it, isn't it? Even if I don't eat it, I can put it elsewhere. We're going to get a big bag of chicken breast because I like the live off chicken breast. Now that I'm doing my weights, I need to get the most protein into us. So I try and eat two chicken breasts at once. I'm returning to the hunk. Long stem broccoli, what I love to put the chicken with. Oh, so we've got some, um, that's really bad. At least all the food's wrapped. I've got some serrano ham, that's what I like to put around the chicken. Get a little bit of mango. I do like a bit of lettuce. We'll have a bit of a chicken salad. Me and my mum are very good friends of all the checkout people. Just gotta wait until she's served another lady because it's not all about me, you know. She wants to show us something. <gasps> She's got her pepper girls gloves on. <laughs> they're nice, aren't they? They're nice warm and cozy. Oh, so cozy, aren't they? So that's it, done. We've made done for the day shopping, caught up with me old friend, you know. You know, we have a bit of a celebrity round here. Well, let's head back home. Put the shopping away now, so it was a deep and thought there. So we'll put this away, and then what I'd like to do is I'd like to have a quick shower, and then I think we should meet back up here because then we'll be on to the last meal of the day. We've had the eggs, we've had the McDonald's, and then we'll be on to the evening meal. So the most annoying thing about this is, right, so bear in mind, it's dark now. I think I told you before I was gonna go for a shower, that didn't happen. I've washed my hands before I started keeping up. Excuse me, no bouncing on my legs, please, when I've got a knife in my hand. The worst thing about this is we went shopping today and we forgot to get onion. My favorite, favorite ingredient, onion. You win some, you lose some. I've got goat's cheese and I love a bit of goat's cheese. I just love cheese of any type, to be honest. I just love cheese. But um, we're going to stuff that with some goat's cheese in the middle. It's not the best cutting I've ever done. But it'll do because we're going to then wrap it with the serrano ham. Okay, so we're, we're seasoning it now. We're seasoning in the chicken. So we're just going to stick with some salt, some pepper, some mixed herbs. And I really like cooking with herbs de Provence. I mean, herbs de Provence. Provence whatever they are. You wanna look at the tender breasts, all nice and seasoned? Garlic oil. Now, oil is full of calories. Because when you start going pouring willy-nilly, honestly, it, 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 it all adds up, and you would be so surprised. So we've got one tablespoon on that one, 
one tablespoon on that one. Now that doesn't seem a lot and I would love to just drizzle it like crazy but just not worth the calories for oil. And we are going to go in with the goat's cheese. We're going to whack that in the middle. And because it's long, I think we should cut it in like a long way. <gasps> We're not going to go thick with our slices. I know that one has gone quite thick, but we're going to lift that up and we're going to slide that in there. Look, can you see how that slid in there? Now, we've got a problem because there's a bit of cheese that's on shore. This is where the Serrano ham comes in handy. So we're just going to wrap that around there just to make sure it's nice and covered. Now we're going to wrap about wrapped a little bit extra on that one because we had a bit of a problem with the cheese. But can you see how lovely that's looking now? Can we have a yes? Louder than that please, Angus? Yes. Is this something you would order in the restaurant? Mm-hmm. Good. This was the good breast. I made a good incision on here. The oven is preheated. Too many cooks spoil the broth, I heard. Good job we're not making broth. Um, fun fact for you all, I've actually cooked with Jamie Oliver himself and I taught him a thing or two. Jamie, if you're listening, you know. You know about that day. And I would just love to just do a little bit of drizzle of oil, but... but calm it down, calm it down, calm it down! Oh! <gasps> oh my God. We're having a little bit of a problem. It's a little bit awkward. I don't want anyone to judge us. <coughs> I don't know what's happened here, but this is not something that I made earlier because, quite frankly, that has been mutated. <coughs> Who knows how long that tender stem broccoli's been in there for, but I'll tell you something, it's definitely not tender anymore. Charcoal. So then we're going to get this in here. Pop that up. Jobs are good in, and we're going to leave that in there for 30 minutes, and then I'll check it. In the meantime, the last bit of preparation we do is the broccoli. Not the broccoli that is in there. Now, I like broccoli, you know. Let's just cook it all. It helps when you do this with the broccoli, just so it knows where it is, and surroundings and again I want to drizzle the oil like a mad woman drizzling lube onto a of a man she can't wait to fuck. but sadly the carpet oh, let's just drizzle it all on who cares let's really garlic this broccoli up broccoli up let's get some of these in as well just get some of them and mix it all around. Oh, look at that. Hot, hot chilli broccoli. There we have our broccoli. I'm just going to put the broccoli in the same time. In the bottom shelf. And then I wish I could go and it all be tidied away. Oh my God. I've got this parcel. Oh, I know what this is. <gasps> Right guys, oh my god, I've got to tell you about this. Obviously I've just come off my live tour and on my live tour a select amount of people got goodie bags. So like if you got a VIP ticket, you got a goodie, pack, goodie bag, a meet and greet ticket. If you won any of the competitions, because we had competitions that ran the whole way through. These goodie bags were amazing and I was like, I really, really want one. I'm the only person who can get one and it's my show, that doesn't seem fair. Everyone got a little bottle of Jägermeister and Jägermeister was so kind to put my show on the back. The show dates. Velvetan Tanner Mitts, these are the deluxe Tanner Mitts. Everyone got like a different pattern on. They do all the best patterns ever. Like, so nice Tanner Mitts. Bondi Sands. If you know me, you know I'm an ambassador for Bondi Sands and they kindly sent out loads of products for the goodie bags. I can't thank Bondi Sands enough. I don't use any other tan and that is the God's honest truth. Invisibobble, 
Everyone got an Invisibobble? You are joking us. People got this in the goodie bags. This is the nicest coloured palette I've ever seen from W7 Lock. Look at these colours. Give me eye patches. Very, very good for the re rejuvenation of the eyes. Woo woo party condoms. That's because you know how crazy my shows get. Yeah, I don't want anyone to be hooking up and not having their safe sex. Oh my God. That is so shiny, flush. Floss. Hair mask, nip and fab, eye mask, eye lure eyelashes. You all are lying, I didn't even know all these things. Hygiene hand gel, no, it's got to be a lie now. People got a fucking perfume in the goodie bag, and I never ever got one of these. That's the best skin cleanser that's what my makeup artist uses. Cetaphila, don't know whether that's a Cetaphila. Retinol eye cream by Optiman. Iconic toner, vitamin E, that vitamin E is so good for your eyes actually. A machine or perfume? I don't believe this. I should have been charging more a ticket. Oh my God, that smells like candy. Line and lash. Oh, it's in a decent glue, I think. Chocolate penises that will melt in your mouth. Well, I know what I'm having for dessert. Oh my God, this is huge. 42 colour palette by Bright. You're lying! Right, I'm gonna get this tidied up now, guys, because while that's cooking, I wanna get on the bike, do a quick half an hour, finally sit down, eat my dinner, and get to bed, because I'm not gonna lie, I'm absolutely shattered. Okay, so on the bike, I want to get this on lighter, because my knees are hurting, my arse is hurting. For breakfast, I took the three boiled eggs, I only managed to eat two. So that was, for breakfast, 130 calories. Then, for lunch, we had the treble cheeseburger and the veggie dippers. I didn't have the bun, so I just put in a double cheeseburger because I worked it out and on the internet, it says it's around about the similar amount of calories. So, that was like, just under 500 calories for the total cheeseburger. I only had three veggie dippers because my mum stole one. So that's like 200 calories for the veggie dippers. All together, we have a total of 610 calories just for lunch. Now that was a high fat meal, which is pretty bad, but like after two exercise sessions today, and I don't care. Then for dinner we've got, and this is where you see how bad the oil is, even just three tablespoons of garlic infused oil was 360 calories. So the whole of tonight's dinner is 883 calories. So in total, I have eaten 1,622 calories. Perfect, I have went over on the fat content by a lot because I've had McDonald's and I'm having goat cheese and I had eggs. But I don't go off daily, I kind of look at the average over the week. So yeah, I've ate a lot of fat a day, so tomorrow I'm trying not to, and on Friday I'll try not to, and I'll try and just wait until Sunday to overload on the fat again. So there you go, there you have it. That is my day in a whole. I try and get around 1,600. If I go over, don't beat myself up about it. Try and do at least two bits of exercise a day because it's been raining so bad today. I haven't done my daily walk, which I normally do with the dogs. That is, that is the end. But please, I need to stop you from filming it on this bike because I need some music to get us through it. Mm -hmm.